yesterday was a great day and one of the things that happened when I was out was that at a store we saw this pretty cool sign and I said you know the Pac-Man sign the ghost has been an absolute hit over this last year it's been something that people absolutely love for the setup it shows up nicely on the camera um I wonder how this would work out and it seems to be this exact same premise as that where it has this as you can see a gradient of colors and everything um I said, let's check it out. So we ended up getting it, and here we are, and look how good it looks, right? It actually films really well on camera, both here, but also you'll see when we get to gameplay and the camera becomes only like the 4-3 aspect ratio, it still looks really good. Um, so I was pretty happy about it. Now, there's some other things as well. I actually got something that we're not going to add to the setup immediately, but we will have for future months. Should I give you a preview? This, I don't know how well it's going to film, all right? But I figured you guys would love it because of what it said. People are liking what I'm doing. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? It's a 3D piece of art. And I certainly figured you guys would like that after all the Street Fighter. Select to make your first pick. Trend line A. Yeah, I've been playing recently and of course soon we'll be probably playing Call of Duty so I figured you guys would really like that as part of my setup at some point um, it actually lights up but not very well like there's lights behind this controller but you can't really I turned them on like you can't even see them um, but anyway probably I'll have that in the background at some point moving forward one of these months so I'll just toss this right now into the closet so that we have it for future months there we go. So, yeah. Grabbed a few odds and ends and things while we were out. I'll talk more about that during the Phil's Day Off segment coming up on the show. A uh, good amount of uh, game news happened during my time away yesterday, so that's always good to cover when I come back. It's good to uh, you know, get caught up on all the happenings of the gaming world. Um, and The next step would be a new PC. That PC over there I've been using constantly for six years. I don't turn it off. I'm serious. I don't turn it off. If I turn that PC off, I can't even turn it back on properly. It doesn't... If you tell it to restart, it just turns off permanently and won't turn back on. You need to hard boot it by pushing the power button to turn it back on. It's got issues. Now, it's not going to be something that I'm going to be talking about every day or harping on. All right? Last week, there was a distinct dip in support when it came to tips. In reality, when it came to like memberships and super chats and everything, things were great last week and I was very happy about that. But tips for some odd reason really declined last week on my live streams. Now for those who don't know, and I couldn't imagine how you don't, I'm not someone who has paid pl product placements. I'm not someone who has these partnerships. I don't get paid to play particular games. I don't take those kind of opportunities. I just make content for you. You like it. You support it through crowdfunding. That's how I make my living. And definitely there's ups and downs to that. Okay, but now we're in the fall gaming season. The biggest games of the year are starting to come out, and this is the time of year when typically I got to spend a lot more money on a lot of games and things that are coming out. My expenses shoot up, um, but also kind of in tandem with that, I also usually see uh, an increase in support. I would say the support did come, but it came in methods where I won't see any help from that in like a month and a half. Now tonight, if you cheer sub or tip, I'll give you a shout out. However, FYI, I do prefer tips tonight. Uh, tips help me more than anything right now in the current financial situation I'm in. Basically, I need to raise as many funds as possible to pay bills because I am way behind on money right now because of a lot of things that have been going on, which I won't bother you with, okay? But just for those who don't know, Super Chats, you know, memberships and things like that help a ton. They're long-term support for this channel that absolutely is needed, and I'm very, very grateful for it. Thank you. I mean, I got a lot of gifted memberships. We're over 560 now, which is excellent. You know, at one point, we were struggling just to keep it above 500, so thank you for that. But tips are really important because tips are essentially my liquidity. When you tip me on a stream, that's something I get right away. That's something I can use to pay a bill, to go grocery shopping, to have a nice dinner with my wife, which we did yesterday for her birthday, to buy the new games coming out, okay? So... What happened was last week, I saw a distinct dip in tips, and I don't know why that was. There didn't seem to be particularly any reason. You know, the launch day of Starfield, things were great, and then after that, it was like every single stream, we weren't even hitting a tier one tips goal of 50 bucks, like ever. So because of that, 
I was looking at the end of the week. I was like, oh my God, like I didn't expect it to be this tight, but it was, okay? And it's okay. It's not the end of the world. All I'm trying to do is spread awareness. If you were thinking of supporting my streams this week, a great way of supporting my streams this week would be tipping me, okay? That would help a lot. You know, long-term support's been great. And I obviously am grateful for that. And anyone, please, you, if you're going to super chat or do a membership or get the membership, please, by all means, I'm not looking to give to our cinema out. I'm just saying I definitely saw a distinct dip. It wasn't one stream or two streams. It was like all the streams last week except for the one premiere stream of Starfield had a distinct dip in support of tips. So the bottom line is that nothing is really consistent. Okay, it's not. Um, And it makes me very, very nervous. And I was like, that's concerning when you see a pattern. Not when it's just a one-off thing or a couple things, but a pattern. You know, I'm not in a situation like these other big content creators where we can I can be in like a rut for weeks and weeks. It'll start to hurt, okay? Thankfully, it's not like it was years ago. Years ago, there were situations where I was so financially distraught. I had to have crazy marathons to try to pay bills and stuff. It's not like that anymore. I want you guys to understand that. And I've tried to make that very clear to you this year. Things are much better this year than they have been in a while, um, thanks to you. Okay, this is not, you know, me being, oh my God, completely financially distraught. But, obviously when you see an alarming pattern like what happened last week, I want to call it out and let's let everyone know, awareness, here's what's going on. I'm not asking for anything above and beyond what you normally would do to support. I'm just saying if you have an option, you want to choose, gee, how should I support? Tips would help a lot right now. Tips would be stupendous for me to afford all the stuff. Particularly, I've got to get Mortal Kombat 1 Collector's Edition in the next week and that's a hundred dollars okay actually isn't it a hundred dollars plus tax i know you're like oh can i donate some money and you'll play um uh, bloodstain being very honest with you i think the, the the better thing or the more reasonable thing to do would be like to tip me some money so i can buy crash on friday you know what i mean not to me money for a game that i know i'm gonna play and probably it's not gonna last i know people want to see crash like people have been asking me for crash for a while we know it's the big re release of this week that's what I kind of need help with right now to afford not buying a game that I'm going to play once and people will all complain about, right? So actually, it's like $120, all right? Plus other, you know, other things that will be coming up very shortly that are going to cost money. So thank you in advance to anyone who does it and, and, uh, and helps out. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, thanks to those who don't take it the wrong way. Because whenever I try to be matter-of-fact transparent with my audience about things like this, there's morons who say, you see, he's e-begging and he's doing all these horrible things. Did you hear me once e-bag right now? I'm just explaining the situation and saying, if you could help in that way, please do. I'm not telling anyone, hey, open your bank accounts, rip open your wallets and purses and dump them on a table in front of me. That's not what I said. I'm spreading awareness of, yeah, it would help to have a little bit more in the tips department right now because of the way that this business runs and I'm a small time guy. I'm not some giant guy with huge ad revenue and huge views or whatever. I am reliant on my audience, all right? So thank you to those who understand and don't try to spin it into some kind of bullshit, the sky is falling story that it's not because that's not what I'm intending, all right? So now that that's... One second, guys. Annoying fucking trolls. What happened? What the fuck?